This is the Blockade Pinball Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Freebus, a.k.a. Shut Your Trap. Joining me, as always, halfway across the world, it's Jared Morgan. Hello, everyone, with a slightly different lighting pattern than you are normally <laughs> used to, right? Right. For, for me, this is a um, uh, late night edition. <laughs> and for me, this is just past 12 o'clock. So the sun is over the yard arm and we've got a different light you know, being cast upon my very visage here. doesn't really make me look any better, but anyhow. And people you say know. the world isn't round. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's round like a pinball, folks. Not That's flat right. like the table. Um, <laughs> That's right. That's a very good analogy right there. <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes uh, life gets in the way of... Um, Recording schedules, and uh, mm. you know you have to you have to adjust. Um, but it was well, we both actually had we had family things, didn't we? Yeah. Both of us actually had family things today. Yeah. Like, uh, what was your family thing that was happening today? Uh, parents' sixtieth wedding anniversary. Oh, that's massive. Yeah, you don't want to miss out on that. I mean, it wasn't like there was a big shindig. It was literally uh, they just wanted us to get together, and I think it happened to fall on their anniversary. Hey, look, if it works, it works, right? Yeah, you know, it, we've noticed that there's this pattern in our in our family um, that uh, we see everybody on July 4th, and then we tend to not see anybody again until Thanksgiving at the end of November. Um, so yeah, I have to keep reminding myself that like Thanksgiving is like the major time that everyone catches up in the US, isn't it? Yeah. It's like our Christmas here. Like, it's the big deal where the pumpkin pie comes out and all the trimmings, right? Yeah, I, I honestly think that that as a family gathering is a bigger deal than Christmas. Mm. Um, yeah. I mean, people do still, you know, they, they'll do large Christmas get-togethers, but it's not quite the same as Thanksgiving. So. Yeah, right. Well, um, my my uh, family thing was uh, Father's Day, because it's Father's Day down here in Australia. Oh, today. that's right. You guys do it on the uh, the wrong side of the calendar. <laughs> we yes we do because we're upside down you see so like you know um uh for that reason we do things backwards down here <laughs> in in the southern hemisphere and so, yet yes. your your mother's day is exactly where it should be oh really is it yes. the same for you it's, it's the same as for us oh, i don't know how dates work mate like, it's hard work <laughs> isn't it, it really I, is all i can attribute it to though is it's also um obviously your season's are completely different than ours. And so I think it coincides better with your seasons. I have a feeling that is the reason. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably a seasonal thing. I don't know why fathers get spring and mothers get autumn over down here. Because it's pretty much, that's the season alignment, I think. So it's really weird. I don't know. But you're right. It's probably just the flip side. Yeah. See, our, our the uh, mothers get spring and fathers get same time period as graduation. Oh right! Okay. Like it gets that lumped in. It, it gets lumped into the same. Uh, you'll see the exact same cards popping up. You know, Father's Day and graduation. So, right. Okay. There you go. All right. There you go. That's your little. That's your little uh, northern and southern hemisphere education about dates and things. Right. This is what you tuned in for, isn't it? This is this is yeah. what everyone's here for today. Yeah. So I discovered right, something so... uh, this week, Jared. Oh yeah. What did um, you, you discover? Well, I was I was messing around with uh i never mess around with spotify i don't use it um mm. but there happened to be a podcast that came out uh with our five late night hosts all coming together to do one um due to the fact that there's the writer's strike and the actor strike going on and they were they're yeah, doing right. this in combination um uh it's called strike force five something like that um anyway right. uh proceeds from this are paying for their crew basically. Um, oh, okay. You know, helping out or, or not, probably not the entire crew, key members of the crew that are hard to replace. Um, anyway, yes. so I wanted to, uh, I wanted to tune in. So as I popped up and I was like, oh, I wonder what else is on here. So I'm kind of browsing through and then I went, I wonder if our show's on here. <laughs> and so I looked at Blockade be. Pinball and there it is. Go figure. I was like, huh, who knew? Yeah. I set that up ages ago. Right. I set it up on there. And I set it up on, uh, yeah, because it was Anchor FM. Because Spotify bought out Anchor. Oh, okay. And now Anchor is now rebranded to Spotify, so it it basically ingests all the feeds, um, from, uh, I think it's Apple actually. So it's it's weird. Like they they all they they all just sort of like share feeds, and the syndication is really weird. But you got to set it up in each thing. So and and are um, our subscriber numbers woefully sad? 
in Spotify. Uh, yeah, they are. Yeah, no, no one listens on Spotify, and even fewer people listen on Google Podcasts, which we also have syndication on as well. So, uh, so, so if yeah, you're wondering why we embrace YouTube, that's why. <laughs> that's that's the reason why. Yeah. Well, it, I think we still get a fair few podcast listeners per se. It's just not on those. Like you'd have to aggregate all the numbers together to get right. the, the full amount of figure. But I think definitely. Um, everyone seems to like the YouTube thing better because, you know, we get, we get to interact and we get chat stuff. And, yes. and I really like it too because I know that Chris does it like 2 a.m. my morning, but I always <laughs> go on the day after, which is like my Monday. And the first thing I do when I sit in front of my PC in the morning with my coffee is I have a look at what you've all said about the episode. I love I love reading it. So it's great that you all come in there and keep Chris company while he does the premiere. Yes, as I, as I go, oh, is that what I said? Huh. <laughs> It's like, oh, that's interesting. I vaguely remember that, but I don't remember saying it in that order or having that come out of my mouth. Or, or sometimes there'll be like little funny things that'll they'll catch my interest, and then I'll comment on the in the comments, going, <laughs> making fun of what we said. So, you know, yeah, it's a different. It's, it's value adding. It's value adding yeah. to the commentary. Yeah. Hey, before we dive into the yes. meat and vegetables, mm -hmm. optional optional vegetables of the show, <laughs> um, uh, I've had a busy pinball week this week. Yeah. Like a really busy pinball week. I haven't been doing a lot of streaming because I've been playing real life tournaments and winning. Oh, nice. Uh, so so well, we're not getting first. Let's not get too carried away. But <laughs> um, I'm, I'm get, I got a second place on Monday and I got $70 for that. Um, $7? Look seven, at seven, it. $70. Oh, $70. 70. Okay. Yeah, $70 dues. Um, and then uh wednesday night um i was first position it wasn't a very big tournament so the the top price for that was 20 bucks uh but it's 20 bucks right um and uh, i did a flip frenzy at netherworld on saturday morning um and qualified second for that which meant a 50 dollars bar voucher um and a really really cool pin actually as well which i don't have upstairs with me but it's like a like a lapel pin that you get when you um, place, so it's been a profitable week for me. Um, so your your mm. IFPA rankings are just uh, climbing as we speak. They are. The, I, obviously, I don't look at the global rankings because that is depressing. Um, <laughs> but but I do look at my local, regional, Australian rankings. Mm -hmm. I think last time I looked before those three wins, I was around fifty second in Australia. Okay. So I mean, top one hundreds. I'm like, you know, I strive for top 100 whenever I do streaming. Right. Um, but uh, yes, it, uh, it was nice. It's nice to win. It's very nice to win. Excellent. And uh, you'll notice that also the, uh, the videos have slowed down a bit on uh, YouTube uh, because a um, friend of the show, Robo, uh, suggested that I change the way I, I do the, the sort of streams and I focus on just one table at a time. So... I've been doing that the last couple of times. I did like a couple of streams on Xeno Tilt and uh, then switched over to just a single stream of um, Star Trek. And I did another one on uh, Circus Voltaire the other day. So okay. I'm just doing one and I'm picking the eyes out of them. So like, you know, I'm trying to do like top 10 if there's any top 10 stuff in there. And that's what's going up now. So you'll see less videos, um, but they'll be arguably high quality <laughs> quality <laughs> uh, my finishing position so there you go excellent well speaking of uh star trek we're gonna actually do well i am and jared's gonna watch and comment and laugh at me uh doing a little uh yeah. playthrough um of star trek next generation uh a little bit uh later on in the video here but uh first things first pinball m we've actually had a little bit more information come our way mm. um, pinball mm. Mm. Um, I don't know what do you say should we just watch the video yeah let's watch the video all right let's just watch the video uh, let's see that's this button here we go
I'm just going to pause it right there. <laughs> and, mm -hmm. uh, okay, I can see that's a little more uh, grisly than <laughs> what they've previously done. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's, there's a little bit more red stuff floating around there, isn't there? A little red, uh, you know, people ragdolled on the ground and being scooped up by killers. And, um, yeah. Just. Yeah, that's pretty. That's a little bit M. A little bit M. So, uh, that was at uh, Dead yeah, by Daylight? Yeah. Yeah, Dead by Daylight. Which is a video game conversion. It um, is. I've never played it. This is, I can tell you I, right now. It's nor have I. <laughs> Interestingly, though, there's, there's Dead by Daylight and there's Dead by Daylight Alien as well. Like hmm. an Aliens version of okay. this as well, which let's let's hope that sometimes somehow gets in there, right? Because <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Right. Uh, but yeah. Um, did you catch uh, who the stereo is of Dead by Daylight? Out of curiosity, I'm, uh, I'm guaranteeing that they're an Embracer Group uh, studio. Uh, it is. Um, He's doing the quick Google search. Uh, right? a behavior Interactive. Behavior. Yeah, Behavior Interactive. All right. Um, so they're the people who make it i don't know anything more than that about it and yes like chris i haven't actually this is not the sort of genre of uh game i play so no. um they've got a whole lot of um ooh, i think they've got a whole lot of other tie-ins with this so this is the game itself is um they describe it like a. they've got like lots of add-ins and stuff that you can do as well but as far as describing what it is um it is uh a like survival horror game really yeah so that's the sort of genre yeah hmm. all right well let's continue watching the uh more video and see what other game yeah, well, property that they're announcing what else is hanging around in there if i can get my mouse over there there we go And we'll pause there just one more time. So, Chucky, mm. I'm very curious about the audio package on this one. Because think? I think that's a big sell point. If you mm. actually have uh, the voice of Chucky barking at you, <laughs> that's, to me, kind of critical. Or a very, very good sound alike. Or sound which, alike, which, sure, sure. But what I'm saying is, though, I need Chucky callouts. There's plenty out there. Yeah. Hmm. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see what. Uh, yeah, it's going to be well integrated. They're going to be really good callouts. They're going to be informative, and yeah. Because just in that quick that, little video, other than it being a horror IP, it didn't seem like it was grisly. Mm. Um, I don't know. That's just me. And that quick little video. So, um, yeah. And then obviously, what you can see coming up here is a uh, little Wrath of the Elder Gods special edition. It looks like there's uh, when we watch this, you'll notice that there's um, more things that we didn't catch up or catch when we did our screenshots of this uh, a while ago. So uh, yeah. pay attention to some of the uh, the dead bodies <laughs> and the and the fifth looker in there. There we go. Like there. Mmm, juicy. Yeah, that's pretty juicy. I like the bones there on the ramps. Yeah, that looked cool. Little spider. And there you go, folks. Kind of uh, interesting what is appearing there. Um, obviously, based off their little uh, rotisserie of table, um, <laughs> which looked like it was straight out of Saw or something. Um, yeah. Lots of room for growth in terms of how many tables can be in there. Um, yeah. So we'll see yeah. where they go with this.
it's going to be interesting. Uh, it's going to be really interesting to see where they take this. Uh, I think the the themes that you're going to see in here are going to, as they've said, they're going to be all original Zens. There's not going to be any Williams themes in there. Oh, did so you catch all... that? I didn't catch that. Yeah, so there's not going to be any any of the Belly Williams stuff is not going to end up in here. Oh, okay. It's all original themes only. So literally all those things on the roadmap that fall into the M category are going to be in here. Okay. So yeah, that been, means that some of our predictions... On the, for, <laughs> on the Discord. <laughs> well, that means some of our predictions about, like, if Spooky were to eventually come over here, that's, like, flat out wrong. Well, it's... Well, yes, probably, because they're not Zen Originals. Right. So, yes. So that doesn't necessarily mean they can't be in the main the main app though no but that was kind um, of our guess was you know what else is going to go in pinball m and if we were going to think outside the box about uh other stuff coming in what could come in and obviously we jumped straight on elvira and then mm. went with spooky so um yeah interesting yeah that's right so you said that was on the uh, discord yeah that's right so there's been people having a good look around the videos and stuff and uh, there's been some chat outside of um the forum about this from from zen so yeah it'll just be only zen new brand new zen original creations i think it says so in the the reddit post that was released um about it so okay mm, they're, will... they're just going to be going all new licenses right uh mm. this will be coming to all the platforms um Obviously, it seemed to say it was uh, uh, would be coming soon to Switch, so not immediately to Switch, uh, which doesn't entirely surprise me. Uh, Nor does it surprise me, unfortunately, but yeah. it's, I think, fair enough to assume that. Yeah. Um, but it's good to know at least that it's not a... Is it coming to Switch at all? You know, we know it's going to be a system question of when. Um, yeah. So... Um, yeah, that'll be interesting to see uh, where they go with this and see... Uh, what people's take on it is because I know that there's a lot of people that are <sighs> I love I, I always love this mentality where people go oh why don't you just work on a regular game instead you're doing a whole nother game hmm. and it's like and why is it in the core app and why isn't it like you know why do I have to open another app Right. To see these things. But my, my thought is what makes you think that this is pulling away people from them working on the regular? That's you, right. You know, we keep on saying that Zen has been hiring a lot of people <laughs> and expanding mm. so they can do this sort of thing. Um, yes. We now, obviously, we have also said we think this is a testing ground for things, but I think it's less a testing ground yeah. for graphics. And more a testing ground for content. Um, oh, it's absolutely a testing ground for content. I think yeah. graphics is they, you know, I think they're going to be doing the same thing on all platforms. Yeah, catering to the like the limitations of each platform, but it's all at UE4 now. Yeah, and this is this is the reason why everyone, I, you know, as an aside, talking to someone this week about in a pinball tournament about oh, you know. Why do they switch to Unreal for? We're still having these discussions in the community, right? Mm -hmm. And I was able to go, well, you know, they couldn't do what you're seeing now in the uh, PX engine. Like it just yeah. wasn't possible. Yeah. yeah. So they reached its limits, and so now they got something that uh, has much broader limits that they can they can attack and go into. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I just I always it always cracks me up where. People don't seem to think that, uh, and it's not just game studios. This is all levels, of, you know, from government to other lines of business and stuff, where they don't seem to think that people can do two things at the same time. Um, yeah, and, that's and it's like, right. Well, that's what you have a lot of people for, so you can do exactly that. And like we've, you know, we found out uh, a while back that you know Zen has their non-pinball division that basically mm. does all of their animations and then sends it over to the pinball division. So it's you're keeping all of them busy too while they're working on other stuff. I mean, it, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a, not a card concept as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. But. Well, no, I think there's Zen is now, they're not just indie anymore, right? Yeah. They're not just a small studio with a few people doing pinball. Like there's 
we know there's one one dedicated person who just looks after emulation right at the yeah. moment and that's their job because their expertise is in that area then you're right there'll be another team that looks at doing the models and the mocap and all that sort of stuff you know same as there's a team that's that working entirely and only on cabinet mode yeah well that's right i mean it's it's the same as like where i live Oh, where I live. <laughs> That's that was a uh, slip. Where I work, <laughs> which you know you spend most of your time at. But you know we, you know we're we're producing this big thing called a DXP, and we have multiple teams doing multiple things. Yeah, they're all contributing to the main thing, which is our main product platform. But they're all doing things separately, feeding into the mothership, right? Yeah, and then just uses that model. It's just a really simple software development model that works. Yeah. So. Anyway, that's uh, Pinball M, a little bit further a look into things. Um, and look at the timing of this, right? So just at the end of August, coming into September, mm -hmm. what what do we know about what Zen likes to do when they announce something? Uh, pretty much and about then, a month later, they're looking at releasing. <laughs> that's usually what they do. So uh -huh. you, could, you could suggest that we're looking at maybe a... October sometime date well, for this? Well, if I had to guess, they're going to do their next pinball bit or pinball bites mm. uh, close to the end of September, middle yep. end of September. And mm -hmm. they'll say, and Pinball M will be available on this date, which will be typically two weeks after their actual announcement. Yep. That's... Yeah, if they if they follow what they normally have been following timeline wise, that's what the deal is going to be. Yeah, I reckon. I think that's a fairly good prediction. Yeah. So yeah, October. Yeah, October, ish. Halloween, sometime. I mean, when else would you want to release a thing like this? It makes perfect right. sense. Yeah. yeah. It's it's the right time. <laughs> Let's yeah, be serious, right? I yeah. guess the only other question is. Um, so obviously they said Wrath of the Elder Gods will be free, which we predicted. Um, mm -hmm. uh, is it only going to launch with these three tables or are we going to have maybe some more announcements I think these three will be the the, the first release uh, and then they will probably do a content update a month later I'd say okay that's that's why I reckon let's see what happens let's, let's uh, put that in the uh, prediction vault and crack that open <laughs> in, a, in a month or so see what happens that's right that's yep. right all right um, well what do you say Jared should we uh, jump into playing a little bit of Star Trek the next generation make it so make it so <laughs> all right let me uh, let me fire up the old steam box and get this thing going I'm gonna have to do some uh Audio adjustment. Jared, I think that you've been uh, told what some good audio levels are, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so uh, in-game, I'm running it, and this is purely because of my microphone and my setup downstairs, but we seem to work out that it's like five for master volume and two for sound effects and two for music. That's the in-game sound effects. In All right, let's give, that, let's give that a try. We're going to... It's going to be a little bit quiet, menu. but it means that you'll hear us more than the game music. And I think that seems to be the feedback that people enjoy, particularly right. in a, the show that format we've got here. So, <laughs> uh, But I have found recently on the, on the subject of weird audio, I have worked out uh, all my problems that are relating to soft audio is the headset that I've got. All right, so what did you say, Master just, Volume 5? Master Volume 5, yep. Sound Effects Volume about 2. Yeah, and Music Volume about 2. And you can pretty much put 2 every everything else as well because you don't really need to hear the menu volume and stuff like that. So. All right. Oh, but I like loud physics volumes. Well, have it 3 then if you want. Yeah. All right. And here we'll just, there you go. just in case we'll mute license music, even though I don't think it does anything on this one. I don't think I don't think Star Trek is any is subject to license music. It's because it's not John Williams. So they <laughs> you're, you're well, right, no, basically. but it's still it's I mean Alan Silvestri it's, or whoever. I mean you're still gonna there's license music in this. Yes, 
the, I think it's, I think we'll, we we're talking about this before we started the show. And I think the reason why it's not getting pinged for copyright is that it's such a low resolution soundtrack that no one really pings it. I don't mm. think. All right. So here we go. Here's the table. This is a, it's a deep cabinet machine. It, well, yes. Um, yeah. And if and it has to be because of that ball ship at the back, right? that's a tall ramp at the back there. Really um, tall. And fortunately, Zen has done a good job on the lighting, which is critical for making a table look deeper. <laughs> yes, that's um, right. Boy, that's a long shot this... on the back box. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Thanks, Zen. Um, there we go. I've never understood why the Borg isn't the cube. This, uh, I, I did some reading into what that thing is. Oh, yeah. And it, there is one episode only in the entire series of Star Trek where that ball ship is present hmm. in the show. D just one episode only. Interesting. Uh, and, and it's, yeah, they, I think they probably chose it because if you try and think of how would you put a big cube in the back well, and make true. it not look diminutive? Hey, Jared, what's your go to launch? Warp Factor 4. Warp Factor 4, huh? So, oh, it went I mean, light 1. Excuse me. Oh, well. The reason why you get Warp Factor 4 is that um, you'll instantly get uh, Super Pops. So you get 1 million per hit. And okay. when you're... It might have been a while since you played this um, game, but um, the you want to be hitting it up into the Pop Bumper area a fair bit. So it's good to have... Um, the ball dribble into the pops and it will stay up there for a while because the pops are really sensitive in the way that Zen's implemented it, mm -hmm. particularly in classic mode. So you're going to get like 20 million points just for nothing for so free. thing that I noticed right off the bat, mm -hmm. this is Zen enhanced mode. Yes. There's Zen non-enhanced mode. Yes. That is really subtle. I mean... There's not, you know, there's not a lot. Your bird of prey but... there is... Still there, it just moves a little bit in Zen's version. Um, yeah, it's the same thing with the shuttle, right? Yeah. Um, so the base, the base enhance effects in the game. There's not a lot that you get outside of missions. Yeah. But as you'll see, when you get into the missions, that's when things start to get interesting. Now I do notice there's like a glowy um, transporter beam uh, that appears. You can see it right now in the uh, in the left hand side by that ramp and in front of the uh, stand up targets. Oh yeah. Do you see that? Oh, I no, think that's actually the, the uh, that's the light reflection oh, coming that off is the the, light, isn't the it? ship. It's coming off the ship. Ah, oh, I was trying to figure out what that was coming from. Yeah. Okay. It's just a subtle subtle reflection. Oh, coming I off see. The yeah, the glow on the bottom on the underside. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Quite neat. Yeah. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and launch. All right, rescue. Nice. Lots of shots up the middle, right? Uh, well, this one, yes, you could definitely do shots up the middle, but the other thing is that your any target hit in this mode adds people to shuttle. So obviously you want to go pop bumpers, right? And well... Okay, in theory. Theoretically, <laughs> what you want to do is you, you would want to go pop bumpers. And given the implementation we've got here in, in Zen's version, um, it rattles around in there. You'll get pretty much half your... Um, you'll get an, in pretty much an instant um, uh, artifact from doing that. Hmm. And uh, you can then uh, go and go and shoot up one of the uh, shuttle ramps and you pretty much collect all 50, all 50 um, humans. Humans. Well, I guess we'll start another mission then. Yeah, do that. If I can, you know. Third time's a charm. When you need to hit it. <laughs> See, look. Cute, All right, huh? so. Or, oh. <sighs> so Alpha Quadrant is the the center ramp. So the one next to the uh, start hole. That one. So that's Alpha. Beta is the shuttle ramp. Nope. Oh, so this table nope. is so deadly. It you, is. You miss your ramps, you're dead. <laughs> you break, you die. Yeah, it's yeah. it's really, really tough. And even in classic, it's not super forgiving. But boy, you tried in pro, far out. 
<laughs> Those outlines, man. Look at Intro. that. Intro. House They are cavernous. Yep, they're nice housey. Now, you see why you want to have the, the uh, pop bumpers lit, right? For a million, because like you're getting a million a hit hmm. every time. It's like you're just getting points for nothing, and it's great. Do you get your um, chicks for free? Oh. Yeah, you, you get your money for nothing and your <laughs> chicks for free. That's right. Here's All right, the one so that you were talking about. Yeah, this is the one where you get the visual extras coming through. wee It's cool. The effect is amazing. But look what happens when the asteroids creep around. If you don't know your shots on this table, you go, uh, where are all the lip chevrons that I need to hit? Well, Everything on top of that, of... it doesn't destroy the asteroid that is nearest the chevron that you went for. <laughs> That's right. So, I mean, it, it looks... I really yeah. like the effect. I, I like the, the the fact that they've they've used the modes to actually do the good shot, um, the modes to actually um, show the effects. But this one, I just I have to turn them off just for this mode. Only yeah. this mode as well. Like that's the only one that I just find a little bit challenging to play with the uh, effects on, it's, which is a shame because they look really really good. What multi ball is this? This is a um, Cardassian multi-ball. So you've got to shoot in there and it's going to ask you to shoot a ramp as well. So you've got to shoot the ramp to build up your shield and you've got to shoot the neutral zone to progress and, and slowly burn down the Cardassians. I don't actually see that mode very often um, come up. It's normally uh, the Romulans come up first. Oh, satisfying shot that one, isn't it? It is, and it's uh, toughy. It is. You got to dial it in. That's for sure. Nice tip past. Uh oh, nope. <laughs> nope. 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 It nope, is nope. a wide gap between those flippers. It really is. Um, so, yeah, there was people uh, in Discord that made a valid point here. I think. Yeah. What's I that? think changing the uh, flippers from purple back to white. Yeah would probably actually be a better idea here in, in Enhanced because purple is a really bad contrast. Uh, they're, they're white for a reason. That's why Belly chose to... I mean, Williams decided to make them white instead of yellow um, because they just do. they stand out more. Let's do... Sure, Time Rift. Why not? Time Rift's good. It's like shoot anything. And you can obviously use your stand-up targets on the left there up to three times in this mode uh, to reset the clock. Good shot. Nice clean shots here. And they they remain lit. So you just keep on shooting. Oh, Ooh, that's going down. Seriously. Yeah. It was predetermined, that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's going down. So you know the... Uh, here's a bit of a thing for you to try out. Okay. So uh, if you want to do... Um, your locks, okay, and and just before you you call it, you qualify lock. Well, that's a juggle. Far out. Join the circus, Chris. That was <laughs> <laughs> that was an amazing juggle you just did there. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, you want to um, take Q into multi ball with you. So start Q, and then um, get your third lock and take Q in because the timer the Q is the only mode in this game. Where the timer does not stop. Oh. So, um, oh, sorry, the timer pauses in Q. So you will take Q in and it will just keep lighting shots and you will just keep shooting them in the course of the multi ball and you will get a colossal score if you do that. Nope, so, that was dead. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. <sighs> bye bye. So, yeah, that, that's a bit of a, because I actually went and read the rule sheet on this one, not in Zen's rules, but. I actually went and read the rules. And man, this table, it's... I think they actually said in the rule sheet, summary for it's actually a little bit deeper than Twilight Zone okay. in its rules. And you wouldn't know just from looking at it because it's like you step up to the table and you go, okay, all I need, want to do is start missions and get locks. Like what came first, really this ex- or Twilight Zone? Uh, Twilight Zone. Okay. Because this feels like... Yeah, that was just toast. Um, this table to me feels like Steve Ritchie went, well, why does Pad get to do all the cool things? And then they uh-huh. went, okay, fine, Steve, unlimited budget, go for it. 
<laughs> just, just just put sure put two cannons on there put like a like let us re-engineer the entire trough system because yeah let's, let's do an entirely of... different subway system than we've ever done before uh yeah because you've run out of switch matrix points so let's just like layer on a, a new switch matrix extra switch matrix for you whatever mate like you know just and on top of that he said control. he was a huge wow um trek fan uh yeah trek fan so this game features, I think, uh, it holds a record for the most custom speech in this era of Belly mm. Williams' game as well, like licensed by actors' speech. It is just, if you listen to it, it's jam-packed. Now, would you say... Nope. Oh, I can't believe no, that. Oh, great save. save. What a I, save, what a save, what a I save. That was for sure toast. Um, uh-huh. Stern's Trek, which also was Steve Ritchie. Yeah. Ugh. I really should nudge when it goes over there. Um, but that one's not a wide body, but it nah. shares a lot of similar shots. Would you not agree or no? Yeah, there is a bit of the the, the TNG DNA in the um, the Stern Star Trek, I think. Um, certainly the, the ramp layout is very similar. And What mission should we do this time? Or do... Uh, do rescue, and this time try shooting up in the pops. Okay. As soon as it comes out of the um, the scoot, see if you can get it up that uh, right lane and get it into the pops. Nope. No. Oh. Bye bye. Bye bye. Do that you is, remember uh... <laughs> in in TPA's version? Was it this drainy? I I can't. It's been a long time. I can't recall actually. I don't. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think it was. No. Uh, let's I mean, this is. Oh no, I didn't. Yeah, I, was... I hit the wrong. Oh, you button. just went twenty-five mil. Yeah. Oh well. You definitely. Uh, it's this is definitely. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what you would see in the arcade, I can <laughs> guarantee you that because I, I put hands on the Star Trek: The Next Generation just this week. Yeah. So yeah, it's 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 pretty spot on. I mean, the one that I played was actually a little bit like flatter than this classic mode here so it was actually a little bit more floaty and it uh, the flatter it gets i think the more control you have in the outlines hmm. um it, it settles better as well and because it is those rubbers they've got on there they're also interestingly oh. white and i think i might be wrong here but i think that the rubbers the stock rubbers were black in this and the black rubbers, typically, for Belly and Williams, they were less bouncy. So I I think it was a stock black rubber on this, not white. But, you know, you walk into any arcade these days and they'll have Titan rubbers on it, which are the silicon band rubbers, and they are just like Bounce City. So good luck with control and the outlane there. Oh, nice shot. So there's extra balls to be had in this table, and they're they're kind of everywhere. Um, you can sometimes get an extra ball from this mode. Actually, it may sometimes give you one. It's a bit random. <coughs> Great dial in there. It takes me a while to get that shot dial in. Beautiful. Ooh, extra ball. Don't choke. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see, you can no! get it and you get, it, and you get it out late. <laughs> this is the way. Man. Man. <laughs> it's yeah, so it's interesting because with those mode. cannons, um, I, I fire sooner than what I feel I should be. Um, yeah. Because obviously you can't move your head to, to see where you really should. Oh, there we go. Yep. See how well I do in the maze. Usually so there is I a pattern. Good. <laughs> there is a uh, pattern here. It is left, left, right, right, left, left. Until you do that. Boom, shakalaka. <laughs> so yeah, I've, again, the rules say that there's a like a desire pattern that you want to go for in the, oh the shuttle. I think it's left, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, 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 I think. And that usually gives you the most millions. Um 
but again the 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 rules tell you so um read them Na, da, da. not getting far in the stable <laughs> yeah it's uh you want think of the um if you have the um the warp that when you get the warps you should think Ooh. of those like the well, that came down fast Boy. um think of the warp so if you get warp factor four and you're shooting that that left spinner lane think of them like the um the left lane on t2 right so every time you shoot the the left lane on t2 to the saucer it gives you some in-game perk it might be a like, hurry up it might be you know stuff like that so there's there's advantages to be had if you're going to build up your warps per ball. Um, but on launch, I think you're getting an instant um, bo bonus held, I, I think. Yeah, look at that. Sling to drain. Sling That's a classic. Drain. That's just... Yeah, the, the classic Star Trek move. <laughs> it's very mean and nasty. Um... It really is. I've seen some some specimens of this in the wild. Like somebody has actually installed um, middle posts oh. above the outlanes just to make it a little bit fairer. So you, you can do it. You can make the you, even if you just like put the the pins in and don't put any rubbers on it. Mm. Like it makes a massive difference to your scores in this table. Here, so, let's see what happens if. Uh, so that was classic mode. Let's try the dreaded tournament mode. Oh, the pro mode is... Or pro mode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Right off the bat, you notice you can't hit light lock. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yep. There's a start. Look at look at the, look at at the how wide those outlines are, Chris. Just look at them. They are all the way open. <laughs> like the rubber on them. There's, they, they could not be wider if you unless you took them out. That's how wide they are. Nice shot. Okay. Actually, launch the probe properly. Okay, you got to get. Oh, see. this is what happens <laughs> when I'm I like, well, uh, you know, I get enamored with what's going on in the DMD, and I'm like, doo -doo -doo. <laughs> yeah, doop 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 doop. I don't know why I selected that right. player. But the thing is, even in pro mode, you can still you can make the ramps, so mm -hmm. all the shots are makeable. So it's not like you know, on some, I think, some modes where there were some ramps in the early days when they were doing promo where you actually couldn't shoot them. Like the ball would not make the ramp. I think for, I'd like to say um, Roadshow was one of those. Mm, yeah. Wow, look at that. Boom. Gone. That's uh, That was a short that's, game. That's, that's pro <laughs> mode. <laughs> That's, uh, <laughs> wait, I just sunk. I just sunk two dollars in this game for three games, and oh crap, it's over already. <laughs> yeah, that's right. For, yep, that is that is how it works. <laughs> Try that again. All right. I, I'm blaming it on the fact that I'm talking while doing this. <laughs> yeah, we all know I'm terrible at that. I mean, that's true. Ooh, that was close. Oh, that was I'm getting, I must mean. Admit, yeah, that's if your ball goes anywhere near the outlane, and it's and well, pro, no, it's but like it was the fact that it, it, you know, I was just trying to save the ball, and it bounced onto the uh, sling and then went. See ya. Mm -hmm. The other thing with pro mode too is you get you get one grace tilt, and instant tilt after that. So there's there's <laughs> you you don't want to shake it too much when you're in pro. Because their tilts are non-existent. There's actually been a really interesting discussion about how nope. the sort of six-second cooldown um, could actually be um, made a little bit um, harder. Because um, people, you know, that know about the cooldown, it's very much a case of they will sort of like shake the ball and get it to settle on the flipper and then hold it for six seconds and then flip and then repeat that the, the tilt again if they need to and that's why you have really big scores mm. um, on classic mode because that's people know 
how to actually game the tilt. And I had a really, really great discussion actually on Discord with uh, Watto oh, and geez. I'm pretty sure it was Robo as well that uh, joined as well the discussion. And we were t- kind of live talking through how you can make the cooldown a bit more fairer. And I think the big problem is that if you're in some games like this, you can actually do a um, a flipless pass between flippers. So if you give it an up tilt when your ball is on the flipper, it will just hop to the other side, which is, you cannot do that in real life pinball. That's impossible to do as a move. Okay, I'm going back to classic mode. Moving the, yeah, it's it's punishing. Yeah. <laughs> Go, go back to go back to classic and you go, oh, this is actually controllable. And I feel like I, I have half a chance. Um, the other thing you can try to is do some of the modes, like do a distance or something like that. You'll actually get to see a fair bit of the game in distance. Hmm. Distance is a good a good option, actually. I mean, there's a lot of long shots in this game. But distance, you'll get to experience a fair bit of the game. I really love the search the galaxy, just because yeah. of Delta Quadrant. Yeah, Delta is you know where Delta is, eh? Yeah, it's that side ramp. Uh, so it's Alpha is the middle, Beta is the um, shuttle, um, Delta is the yeah the big lock ramp. And then there's Gamma Quadrant, which is the neutral zone. If you get Gamma, if you do them all in order, you have a shot at Gamma, and that will give you more points. All right, what mission have we not done? Uh, we haven't uh, done Battle Simulation, have we? I think you did do Battle Simulation before. Oh, you're yeah, right. Yeah, you probably haven't done... I think you haven't done Q's Challenge. Yeah, I've done Q's. Or I started it, I should oh, have say. You? There you go. Good shot. Oh, too early. What lights the kickback? Uh the 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 single triangle target, the the orange triangle. So the one that's in in the danger zone, basically. Uh, so, so you don't have to, unlike um, what is it, uh, the getaway? You don't have to complete all three. It's only the lit light. One of the strategy guides I've read for Star Trek is, if you're in um, battle simulation mode and you don't have a kickback lit, you can sometimes, sometimes actually useful to. Uh, use one of your cannon shots to light one of the kickback, like to actually shoot for the the yellow targets and light your kickback. It is pretty easy to get the ball back into um, the any of the holes. Really speaking, a good hard hit to one of those targets from one of the cannons won't drain the ball. No. Oh. Oh, great shot. There we go. Get in there. Oh, jeez. Look at that, 23 million for nothing. Uh, Yeah. You just got 23 million from the pops just for doing nothing. Easy money. I like that at the end of that, uh, you know, just part of their emulation that it still has to drain the balls. Yes. Yeah, it is good. It doesn't just end. Yeah. All right. Let's and if you leave the if you leave the table on um, a track mode, and all the balls have drained, it will actually all the. Nope. 
Because Tibbles just handed it to me. And part of it is just because I'm very, 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 very bad at nudging. <laughs> right. Yeah, you do have to... You, nudging definitely does need to be your friend in this table. I'm trying to think of a way... Because you can't... Oh, come on. You can't sit. That's pretty rough. <laughs> That's a rough bounce, man. You got robbed there. That was brutal. Um, right, I'm gonna do one last one was, last attempt, and then we're gonna wrap things up here. So all yeah, the marbles right idea. here. Yep. Wormhole's fun. I quite like this. Uh. Yeah, that was going down. Without a tilt, it's going down. I do like that. If you Doesn't hit your flippers, the... that he'll shut data up <laughs> and give you 10 million. It will. Yeah, it will. I do like that. I really do like uh, Patrick Stewart's dry, <laughs> dry. Thank you, Mister Data. Yeah. <laughs> shut up, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Just shut the hell up. Oh, good shot. No. Oh, yeah. That was a good run, though. Yeah, that wasn't Got too plenty shabby. of points there. Yeah. Not Look too at that. Shabby. 106. 106 is good. Well, we're already on ball three. How'd that happen? It's, it gets through them. No. Oh. oh. All right. Nope. And oh, the... yep. And uh, see you later. I do think part of it is that just the cannon is deceptive, so you don't see the bend of the top of the slingshot. And obviously, it's a much yep. larger bend than what we're used to in um, a regular slingshot setup. Yeah, it's it's, and you see, normal normal skill shots don't have that extra plane of that the ball can whack up and, and around again. So yeah, it's essentially like. It's almost like having an extra bumper behind the slingshot. Mm -hmm. A passive one, but mm -hmm. enough that it actually affects the ball's course, which is yeah. why it's like the it's like the hardest, the hardest outlane in, in pinball, really, I think. <laughs> so yeah. anyway, there's uh there's a quick glance at Star Trek the Next Generation. Obviously, if you want to see this table played um uh probably a wee bit better, <laughs> go check out Jared's uh, streams that he's done on our channel. Um, you can set up uh, playlists, folks, so that um, you can just watch Let's Play uh, games. Uh, so that'll just give you a playlist of nothing but uh, us playing the tables. Um, Although there are some, like, this particular podcast will get tagged with that just because we do gameplay in it. 
Um, yeah. But that is an excellent way of just tracking down the gameplay ones uh, rather than trying to wade through all the videos. I've also got them, yeah, I've got them in playlists. I, I always upload and put them into playlists yeah. as well. So all the distance challenges together and all the other sub modes plus yeah. classic mode, they're all together. So if you just want to see a mode for a table, then you can find them that way. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Something uh, to check out in that way of things. Um, we have any other business there, Jared? I don't think so. I don't think I so either. Th just those two little tidbits. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it's been it's been busy, <laughs> pinball busy. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, that being said, um, we're going to uh, call it a day or a night in my case <laughs> on this today. An afternoon. Yep. Um, next time around, obviously, there's a good chance that we'll have even more uh, pinball M news. Um, if not, I'm sure there's going to be a new Pinball Bites uh, that'll drop some other piece of news for us to uh, to come across. Um, and we still need to actually do something regarding uh, Xenotilt. Uh, yes, we'll just find we do. A, yeah, we we I'm trying to get um I'm trying to get Adam lined up, but he's still pretty busy trying to you know do the post release stuff. Yeah, uh, there. But uh, if you want to see more Xenotilt, let me know. Uh, and uh, I will focus on that for a bit if you're getting a bit sick of pinball effects. Um, but uh, I, I'm by, by no means as good as some of the other players on there, which are getting like a couple of billion points. Mm. But I've, had, I've got like a reasonable couple of scores um, on stream. So, you know. And then, of course, you guys seem to uh, to like some of our just general uh, discussions of uh, hypotheticals and our speculations. So... Give us those suggestions mm. uh, over on Discord or in... I think that's actually the main forum where uh, suggestions have been being dropped rather than Twitter. Um, so Yeah, I think Twitter's a bit dead. We still got it, but we... I mean, I hardly check it anymore, to be honest. I check it all uh, the time just because I'm waiting for its, destroy, uh, its demise. Um, but considering... The, yeah, you, you want to see it blow up, basically. Well, yeah, you know, but considering all the other uh, upstarts that have come and haven't made a dent in the social sphere uh, mm. it's it's still lingering presence but um yeah that's right you know we use it mainly for our uh, advertising purposes and not for actual discussion so discord for discussion no. but uh yeah if you have suggestions for the show of what you want us to uh, talk about please 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 drop them over there so that we can uh, uh mold us about and maybe throw those into uh, a future episode for what we want to talk about YouTube comments are also good. I read them and I respond most of the time Yeah, uh, to them. So yeah, I definitely put them there if you've got an idea that this pops into your head. Whatever, look, however you want to get the information to us, you can. You can email us as well if, if that's your thing. But um, yeah, if you've got an idea, send it our way and we'll have a think about it. See if we, can, uh, see if we can't just put it into the show for you. There you go. Uh, make those suggestions. Uh, we'll see you guys fairly soon and never kind of, it, if we don't make it in two weeks from now we definitely make it uh, a month from now we we try and <laughs> not go any longer mm. than that so yeah we, yeah we there's usually something to talk about yeah i mean something uh, this industry we're in is pretty fast paced at the moment so this thing's happening until such time as that we'll be looking for what to discuss and if not it'll be jared's favorite sort of item stuff and things till then folks bye bye see you later <laughs>